Hi everyone, Gabe here with BNH, and today I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about lavalier microphones. Also called lapel mics or clip on mics, lavalier microphones can be a great option to capture professional quality voice audio both in the field and in the studio. Live mics come in either wired or wireless configuration and can be connected straight to a camera's line in or mic input, eliminating the need for audio synchronization in post-production. They are small yet mighty, discreet yet powerful, and one of videographers and filmmakers' all-time favorites. Let's start with when and when not to use a lavalier microphone. Live mics are a great option when seeing a discreet microphone in the shot is not a deal breaker. For instance, we use them all the time for our presentations here at BNH, and they are also usually popular with YouTubers and journalists. Lavalier microphones are also very well suited to sit-down interviews and can even be hidden in plain sight with clever camera angles and a bit of gaff tape. That being said, there are a few instances in which using a lavalier microphone might not be the best of ideas. For a movie or TV scene, for instance, it might be a little awkward to have your actor's mic showing in your dramatic shot. You can try to hide them under layers of clothes, but it is not risk-free. Lav mics are also not the best option when there's a lot of movement involved, for instance, sports or workout videos. That's because they easily brush up against clothes, which can damage your audio signal beyond repairs. In these cases, it might be better to use an internal microphone or a shotgun microphone. If you think that's for you, click on the link in the upper right corner to watch our best practices for shotgun microphones video. Let's now take a look at how to properly set up and use a lavalier mic. Lav mics are ideal to use on shirts, jackets, and coats lapel. All respectable lav mics come with a lapel clip, and all you need to do is create a little loop with a cable, insert it into the clip, and clip it on the lapel of your shirt or jacket around six inches away from your mouth. The loop helps keep the capsule pointing up and provides some slack in case you inadvertently yank the cable. Now that your mic is set up, you must plug it or its wireless receiver into your camera's line input and set the gain levels. If you're recording a guest for an interview, have them talk about a subject that they're comfortable with. For instance, asking them, what are you going to talk about today, is a good way to have them talk in their natural tone and at the level they will use during the recording. And that's pretty much it. Your mics are set up and the levels are set. You just have to press rec and get the shot in the can. Before I wrap this up, here are a couple of tips to make sure you get the best out of your lavalier microphones. First off, if you're recording an interview, make sure your lavalier microphones are placed on the side you and your guest have your face turned to. If you place it on the other side, you will experience a dramatic audio loss, especially with cardioid lav mics. It might seem like a detail, but it's an important one. Forgetting to do so might result in overcompensating at the post-production stage and an overall bad audio quality. Another thing to remember is gaff tape is the lavalier's best friend. Usually used to conceal the cable or the mic altogether or to reinforce the live mic's hold, gaff tape is a must-have when you are going to use one. So make sure to add it to your kit before your next shoot. Last but not least, have extra batteries. Whether they are wired or wireless, lavalier mics are condenser microphones and require power. They will either draw it from their dedicated battery pack or from your camera's power supply. So in any case, bring extra battery to make sure you don't run out mid-shoot. And with this, we come to the end of this short presentation on Lavalier microphone. It is no mystery that lav mics are one of videographers' all-time favorite audio tool. They're small but mighty, discreet yet powerful, and easy to use, which never hurts. And we love using them here at BNH. And whether you're looking for a wired or wireless lavalier microphone for your YouTube setup, your vlogs, and yes, even for your phone, there is an option out there sure to bring your audio game to the next level. I hope you found this video helpful. Let us know which lav mic you're using in your setup, or if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'm Gabe with BNH, and I'll see you next time.